Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another update video, this time on the future of FNAF AR. So I originally wasn't going to cover this because I had already done a lot of recording when this news came out and it was so, so freaking hot in my room that I just could not be bothered to sit down and record. But it seems like there are a lot of people who are confused about what new characters are coming to FNAF AR. Not just for next week, but also basically the entire rest of the year. So I decided, you know what, I shouldn't make a video covering all of the news we have so far about new characters, when they're all coming out, so we can hopefully all be on the same track. Also, I did a video not too long ago about Lefty coming to FNAF AR very soon, which we will get into later, but I highly recommend watching that first because I will be bringing up topics from that video in this one. Let's first start off with what's going on this week. So with yesterday being Thursday, you would expect that we would have a new skin yesterday, but Nobody got a new skin, so what's going on? Well, a couple days ago, Lumix posted this. They said, you told us that you've been missing animatronics from previous events, so tomorrow, we'll be bringing back a special crew for a short event before the new character comes to FNAF AR next week. And then yesterday, they tweeted this out saying, the arcade's a great place to cool off from the summer heat. Are you ready to get your game on? And as it turns out, if you go onto FNAF AR right now, they brought back all of the Arcade Mayhem skins. VR Toy Freddy, System Arrow Toy Bonnie, High Score Toy Chica, and 8-Bit Baby are all back in the game for this week. I'm not really sure why they did this, because I highly doubt that they had a lot of people begging Illumix to bring back these skins. I have a feeling they just needed a bit more time to work on the character. Which, by the way, let's talk about that new character. So this Thursday on August 27th, we will be getting a brand new character. Illumix has already mentioned in the past that the last week of August, which is next week, we will be getting a brand new character after five months. It was back in March when we got Mangle, which again, I know 8-Bit Baby is a character, but like, come on. I'm talking about a new character from FNAF that has already been a character. Not 8-Bit Baby. Oh, Johnny Blocks, but 8-Bit Baby was in the sister location minigame. I know, I'm talking about a real animatronic. For some reason, people just can't get that into their head. I know 8-Bit Baby is a character. I'm just saying, a animatronic, not a 8-Bit Sprite, okay? So when Illumix told us that there was a new character coming the final week of August, they also told us to look out for clues. And as it turns out, a couple days ago, we got an email in the game that says, shh, it's oh so quiet. Now, again, this is talking about the video I did previously on the channel, but we all assume that it is going to be Lefty. Not only does Lefty constantly say shh in Ultimate Custom Night, Lefty was also accidentally added into the game as a profile picture, and he was teased in the teaser trailer. So let me also set another thing straight, a lot of people are saying that it could be the puppet, because the puppet is inside of Lefty. Not only does the puppet not go shh, but you also gotta keep in mind that yes, the puppet is in Lefty, but that doesn't make Lefty directly the puppet. Lefty is its own character, it is a separate entity from the puppet. Yes, the puppet is in Lefty, but that doesn't necessarily mean Lefty is the puppet. So yeah, a lot of people are saying that it could be the puppet. It could be, really, but based off this email, I think it's more likely to be Lefty. Also, Lefty's voice actress posted on her Instagram before the game was even released that uh, she did voice recording for this game. So yeah, I definitely do think Lefty is coming out this Thursday. So now that we can determine that Lefty is most likely coming next week and that he is the character coming that week, let's move on to the future characters coming to the game. So a couple of days ago, again, I did a community post on this, but I didn't make a video on it. Illumix tweeted out this picture and the caption reads, this fall, come one, come all. And at first, a lot of people were confused about what this image meant. It says, come one, come all, up at the top, it has the gang, right in the middle of this poster. It says the Fazbear Circus, and then it says, let's play, down at the bottom. Twisted magic, ravenous animals, mesmerizing dances, and fun with clowns. What the heck does that mean? Well, shortly after this image was put up, a lot of people were making connections to a group of characters called the Funtime Characters. All of the names of the attractions that I just mentioned can be directly linked with each Funtime Character that is not in the game right now, so everyone excluding Baby. Twisted Magic is Funtime Freddy, Ravenous Animals is Funtime Foxy, Mesmerizing Dances is Blower, and Fun with Clowns is Ennard. Twisted Magic is Funtime Freddy because Funtime Freddy has Bonbon that he can pull out of his top hat. It's a bit of a stretch, 
but it does work. Ravenous Animal is Funtime Foxy because Funtime Foxy is a fox which is a ravenous predator. Mesmerizing Dances, obviously that's Ballora because Ballora is a ballerina that dances all the time. And Fun with Clowns is Ennard because Ennard is quite literally a clown. So now that we've made those connections between the names on the poster and the Funtime characters, what order are they coming to the game in? Well, going back to the poster, it can clearly be seen that Ballora is in the shadow. A lot of people are saying that this looks like the puppet, but guys, this is Ballora. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side and a little fade on top of this image with a Ballora model, and you cannot tell me that is not Ballora. So based off of that shadow, it can be determined that Ballora is most likely going to be the first character. And the poster and tweet does say this fall, so we can expect these characters towards the end of September, more towards October, because that is when fall starts. We can't determine if these characters are going to be added the week it turns fall, but I'm sure it'll be close. If Illumix is teasing these characters a month before fall actually arrives, I'm guessing they will probably arrive towards the start of fall. It also is a bit interesting why they started teasing it right now. Hopefully that means that they've been working really hard on these characters, and again, hopefully that means they're going to be released early in fall. So I think that's the main reason why people are confused about what character is coming next. Is it Ballora because they just teased Ballora Shadow, or is it Lefty because of all of the other evidence we have for Lefty coming? So I think that is the order of which characters will be added. Going back over it, we have the Arcade Mayhem skins this week, and then next week we will have Lefty. And then after Lefty, we'll have three or four weeks to fill up time before these fun time characters arrive, so I'm guessing probably more skins. And then once fall rolls around, we will start to get Ballora and then the other fun time characters in any order. I really do have high hopes for all of these new characters because, again, as I mentioned, we have not had one in five months, excluding Ape Baby, again, because dang it, Illumix, why did you make them a character? They are very clearly a skin, you just had to give them a CPU, though I do really like their. CPU, I will say. So because I have been here for a long time, I don't really want to talk about mechanics all that much, but I will just for a short while. Lefty, I have a feeling it's gonna have something to do with a music box, because again, the puppet is inside of Lefty, and in UCN, Lefty's mechanic revolves around the music box. Maybe they'll throw in a heat mechanic, I don't know how they would do that necessarily though. Maybe they'll also have a noise mechanic when you turn on the flashlight and turn it off, and when you shock. It, it makes noise, I don't know. I'm just trying to make connections back to previous mechanics with Lefty because, again, they were sensitive to heat and sound in UCN, and the heat mechanic was introduced in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim, which was where Lefty originated from. So I'm just trying to make those connections. I don't know what they're gonna do. I Again, I have high hopes, though. For Ballora, I have a feeling it's probably gonna have something to do with noise, so again, maybe adding noise when Lefty gets introduced would be a good idea. I think Ballora will be a very, very interesting character to, um, to have in the game, because if they don't make it so that as she moves around, her music goes around with her, if they don't do that, then I will legitimately be very mad at Illumix. And then the closer she gets to you, the music gets louder. I think that'd be a good idea for a mechanic. Funtime Freddy, he will probably run around you. He'll throw a bonbon at you, you gotta like, turn quickly. He'll say, get ready for surprise, you gotta turn 180. Maybe? I think that'd be cool. Funtime Foxy will obviously have something to do with the flashlight, because in Sister Location they have the flash beacon. I'm not sure what they could do with Ennard, being honest. Maybe take advantage of his voice mimic, all of the wires he has. I don't, I don't know what they could do with Ennard, if I'm being honest. Leave your suggestions in the comments. But yeah, basically I just wanted to make things as clear as possible for what new characters are coming for the rest of this year. Hopefully it all makes sense. <laughs> I know this is very confusing um, because they just put out this teaser for characters that aren't coming for another month. So yeah, hopefully I cleared everything up. Hopefully you guys understand and hopefully we'll have a fun time with these new characters. Again, I have high hopes. I'm very, very excited. So I hope, I hope they do well with these new characters. I really do. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.